It's Dina here and today I'm out on a canoe tour together with my dog Yoni and we are gonna stay out for three or four days, don't know exactly, because we're scouting a new route that we think might be a good route for people to go who rent canoes and kayaks from us. Uh, yeah, we started out this afternoon and it was a really beautiful day almost no wind and the lake was like a mirror uh, everything was really peaceful and we were paddling along and Yoni were sleeping in a canoe we were paddling for about one and a half two hours and just before I came to this place where I planned to spend the night, then suddenly a storm came in. Jesus, what a storm that came in! It was like a fairy tale. The lake was more like a mirror sunshine and then suddenly boom really bad weather came in still sunshine though but really windy and it rains I was lucky to find this wind shelter here on the island it's called Perlauden so I get all my stuff in here um, so I think I just have to wait until I put up my tent but in here it's really cozy the table and I can cook some food while I'm waiting for the stone storm to pass by And now it suddenly stopped. Everything seems calm again. Really nice to have a wind shelter to sit in. I think. Well, I'm gonna stay here tonight.
mashed potatoes and Swedish meatballs. Is it good? Mm. One for Yoni and one for me. Mm. So now the dinner is eaten and I have put up the tent. Yoni is already in there and it's about eight o'clock and i think i'm gonna do an early night because i'm very tired and hopefully wake up early and make an early start tomorrow um so yeah i go and brush my teeth and then crawl into the sleeping bag together with johnny good night Good morning, uh, breakfast is eaten and it's been a good night's sleep uh, and I think Yoni also had a good night's sleep. Did you Yoni? Yeah. So right now we are here on this little island and we're gonna paddle just this short bit, maybe 500 meters until here. And then we're gonna load the canoe on the cart and walk this distance here. Yeah, maybe, we see, one square is one kilometer. So one, two, uh, three and a half, maybe. And then we're gonna put the canoe in the water here again and paddle further on. The cabin here where we take up the canoe and some old snowmobiles standing here and here's one now we got to try a new canoe cart or this is actually a kayak cart uh, wilderness system heavy duty kayak cart uh, we have had some problems with canoe carts um, for a long time we have bought expensive ones cheap ones and 
when you rent them out, they destroy. But uh, yeah, we have, now for two years we have had a Ekla cart, a really huge one that seems to work, but uh, that's a few problems, but they seem to work. And now we got this wilderness system, uh, kayak cart. It should take a lot of weight. Uh, they say about 124 kilos, but uh, we'll see. But it will be very interesting to test it. My my canoe is very lightweight, so uh, it shouldn't be any problem. it doesn't happen again. Extremely important to put them on the right way, but I did. So, so we we'll see. I hope it doesn't happen again. Now we're up by the water dam. And, and now I'm just gonna find a good spot to put down the canoe. Uh, I don't want to be too close to the dam. It's quite dense forest here, but maybe it eases up a little bit further on. I go and check. Here seems like a small road down. Go and see. I think maybe I need the canoe here. And go and check. Ah, this is my boat. Oh, down to the lake. Great. Here we go, Yoni. Yay. Ah. Seems like I have wind in my back today. That's good. Ah. Time for a break. So now see what we have here. Two days ago was my birthday. And Matti made me a birthday cake and really tasty but now it's been bouncing around in the backpack for a while mm. Mm. still tastes good delicious though mm. it's a banana chocolate cake with frosting and cocos on top Maybe it's called coconut in English. Coconut flakes. Is it called like that? Mm. Well deserved after the portage. Mm. Some dark clouds are coming in. Let's see if they just pass by or if we're gonna get rain. Oh. The weather forecast for today was a little bit unsure, it's 
some rain or maybe not some rain. Thunderstorm seems to be over there and it's not right here so shouldn't be a problem to paddle but I'll wait for a while and see what happens. I'm happy it's not raining on us. <laughs> So I started out this morning from here and paddled up here to the cabin with the old snowmobiles and then we walked along this path here or gravel road and now we're up here by the water dam here and then we're gonna put in the canoe and paddle up here and uh, here. Don't know if you see. And paddle up here, 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 and then until here. There, I have a big portage again along this road here. All the way up here but I think it's I think it's about seven kilometers it looks like it and I don't think we do that today I think we wait with the portage till tomorrow Passing by yeah, yeah, I think um, lots of small cabins, summer houses, all of them red and white. Really cute. And we are going this direction. Still still hear the thunderstorm a little bit but far far away so no problem oh Ion is moving around it's also a little bit of wind but it's fine just take it easy and paddle along we had some more wind so no more relaxing paddling just sitting enjoying myself paddling really slowly and just floating along now I have to work a little bit more
dark clouds coming in again and I hear some thunder now it's actually possible it's coming right where I'm at. I am I hope not and now it starts raining I think me and Johnny is gonna move up under a tree Oh, it's crazy. Wait, it's gonna be. It's just like. Oh, shit. What's coming down? Please, well, it's like ice. It's called hagel in Swedish. I don't know the English word. Hey, no, <laughs> not Swedish. Wow, wow. It's quite protected here under the tree, though. Where's your meat? We'll sit here and drink our tea. Yeah. Yeah. He only makes himself a bed there. Yeah. It's good to have a tree to sit under. Oh. Oh. I'm lucky. I got that. Be ready before we start. Oh. And I'm lucky we're not in the canoe. Actually, on land. It stopped raining, but I think the thunderstorm is just behind me. So, well, we just wait for a while. No stress in the bush, as they say.
Good morning, a new day has risen and uh, we have been sleeping well. Hasn't been the coziest spot to put up camp, but it's been flat, so that's been good. Uh, there's been some change of plans today. Uh, just talked to Matti, and it looks like it's gonna come in some heavy winds tomorrow. And since I need to be back home latest tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we can't risk that I got stuck somewhere because of the wind and can't be picked up with the car. So we decided that me and Johnny is going to quit the tour here today. And uh, it's been a really nice tour as far as we got. But uh, yeah, we stop here. And the reason we stop here already now in the morning is because now we're at the perfect place to be picked up by the car. So that's how it's gonna be. And well, if you don't subscribe to our channel, please do. I know a lot of you who look at our movies don't subscribe, but we try our best to produce a video a week. It's lots of work and take a lot of time, but we really like to share our adventures and life with you. So do us the favor to press the subscribe button and give it a thumb up. Also leave a comment if you like. That's also very nice to see who all of you who who <laughs> to see who all to see who all of you are. If you say it like that. Doesn't matter. Well, now me <laughs> I'm going to pack up everything and then we just wait wait for Matti to arrive. So until next time, take care and hope to see you in the next movie. Bye!